So in this one, we're gonna be actually mounting the turbos. We're gonna get the hot side built this time. We're gonna start over here on the driver's side and move over to the passenger side. Colt's over there practicing, thinking he's gonna actually weld this thing or something. <laughs> but we're gonna finally have the turbos mounted in this thing. Yes, the wires look like, the wires look hideous, but ignore that, we're gonna fix that later. I had to move them out of the way to actually get this hot side built. And once that's all built, we'll tidy everything up and make it where it'll maneuver around all of the, the piping and everything like that. Because all that stuff's going to get hot. So we have to make sure that these wires do not hit any of that hot side. So we have Speed Engineering LT forward and upward facing header. Luckily, they fit past the steering linkage. And with just enough room, we can do a 90 right here in front of the fan shroud to 90 back. And then we're probably going to 90 up to our flange. So... Let's get in to building this thing. All right, so in my head, this is kind of how I have it figured out how I'm going to run this piping. Uh, and then I got my flange here, and this should be enough room here for the turbo to sit. The problem is, is exhaust. So we're going to have to mock this up with the turbo to really see if we're going to have enough room for the 4-inch exhaust to run back here. Uh, or if we're going to have to shift this uh, turbo up forward a little more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that flange and measure this stuff out and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been a minute. It might look like I've been doing stuff. I promise you, I haven't got anything done. But we got the cherry picker to hold the turbo in the right location. This is where we're going to do it, and then we're going to just duplicate it on that side. Had to start with this side because it's a lot tighter with this fuse box. We don't have really anything over there blocking us. So whatever we do over here, we can easily do over there. Uh, we got the uh, V-band tacked up to the 4-inch that's going to be going out of the hood because we got to orientate it to where it's not going to hit any of these AC lines. So we're gonna get that bolted up and then we're gonna bolt up a three inch elbow right there onto the uh, header. And then we can figure out which angle we need to do to get up to the bottom of this turbo flange. And Colt's a, Colt's a fabricator today, so he thinks. <laughs> but we're gonna get this thing tightened up and figure out exactly where we need to put it and, and figure out how we're gonna make this elbow over to that header. It's gonna get interesting. I don't know what I'm doing, so. We're gonna see if we can do it. I'll update you guys in a second. All right, Colt's putting that back up here. We're gonna see, we've tacked a couple things. We're gonna see if we can get some good fitment here. And uh, then we're gonna tack those and see if we can get the turbo semi-mounted up in place where it's supposed to go and all that. Um, the really, the main thing we're fighting on this side is like I said, these AC lines. Uh, the other side's gonna be really easy. And we're hoping we can get away with just the triple 90 setup over here and be good to go. But like I said, we're getting this thing tacked up. Colt's bolting it together. We're gonna check this and see if we can get it in the right spot and tack that together. Colt, do we know what we're doing? We have no clue what's going on here. <laughs> I think we're doing good though. People that don't know what the for, hell they're yeah, doing, having... we're pure playing like we do. Yeah, for first off. Dude, this looks like a goddamn diesel. This looks like something. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, all tacked up. Mm-hmm. Let's go see if it fits. Oh. Woo! Cole about ate it. You need to put the brand new piece, it just falls all apart. <laughs> Hopefully all the marks would stay intact. All right, so we got it all tacked up. Turbo just mounted with one bolt over there. Like I said, it's real tight over here. We're gonna put some heat stuff all over that. But that's where the turbo's gonna mount and we're gonna mirror it over here. This is gonna be insane. Mm -hmm. It's all come together, which this is pretty much the setup we were doing. Just a triple 90. So, pretty simple, honestly. Not a whole lot of pipe. Uh, and then the exhaust is four inch. So, big exhaust coming out the hood. Uh, and then we're gonna route the intercooler piping up and right here on top of the radiator because you can actually put a five inch exhaust pipe and close the hood. So, I know there's enough room for that right there. Uh, this side's gonna look a little different because these are not mirrored turbos. So we're gonna have to go up and then over. So other than that, should be pretty symmetrical. Uh, the main thing I'm focusing on is getting the exhaust symmetrical. Because if that's not, that's gonna bug me. Uh, but we should be able to get the other side mocked up. And then uh, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the wastegates. I'm pretty sure we're gonna put it off of this 90 here and go just right here with it and then figure out where I'm gonna route it uh, to also probably go off the hood. Four flames, we need four, not just two, four. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I'll get back with you guys when we get this side done. Exhaust a little crooked, don't worry about that. And the bolts don't match, we don't have any. But uh, it's bolted in. Technically, we have one turbo on. Mm -hmm. No drain, no anything else. But a turbo is technically mounted in the engine bay. There's the routing. And uh, like I said, we're gonna run the intercooler piping that way. Exhaust is going out the hood. We'll have to move that a little bit. We'll figure that out later on down the road. As long as it's mostly there not touching anything i can figure out the rest from there but this is gonna look sick pretty much what i had in mind this whole time was at an angle right here maybe a little more in my head was over here but that fuse box really really messed with us there so now we just gotta replicate that over here and then uh figure out where we're gonna put the wastegate and uh it should go right off that 90 and fit down in there but we will see. We gotta test fit some things and then uh, make sure it doesn't burn up that fender liner either. So we don't wanna delete that. Okay, so we're back on day two of fabbing this uh, hot side and here's where it gets difficult today. So since I don't have mirroring turbos, uh, they're not gonna look exactly the same, but we gotta try to get the same placement. Uh, for one, we really just gotta get it where the hood exits are symmetrical so that when the hood's closed, one exhaust and way over here and one's way over here they're in the same spot on the hood uh and we're working on that we're working on getting all this lined up with as best we can because these aren't mirrored so the exhaust shape for the hot side like the lower part of the hot side is not going to be just a mirrored image so i have to try to get them as close and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here in a second try to get them as close as i can to being in the exact same location, even though the turbos have completely different shapes when on one side versus the other. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So on this side, obviously the turbo housing is gonna come up and the intercooler is gonna come here. On this side, the turbo housing has to come up and out and over. So it's the same shape as this. If it was mirrored, it would also come out the top, which it's also like that on the back side. So that side is on the other side. This side is gonna be on this side. So the piping routing is gonna have to be different. So my main concern is getting these at the same angle and the same distance from the firewall as this one. And once I get that, we should be fine. And then we just build this piping up to fit and everything and all as well. Um, this side's definitely not gonna look as aesthetically pleasing as this one, just because the turbo housing is upside down technically. Um, but that's just what you get when you don't buy a mirror turbo. And honestly, I completely forgot when ordering these to even do that. I, I realized after I got a power code that I was going to get a mirrored turbo and well, that's out the window now, here we are. Which, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's still gonna operate how it's supposed to, it's just not gonna look as well. Uh, but we're getting close to having these almost lined up. As you can tell, this one's a little closer. And really what that is, is mostly just turning this in to where it needs to go, which is probably about right there to get the same angle as that one. Uh, which, as you can tell, it's going to get interesting with that piping and being as close as it is. But shouldn't be too big of a deal uh, because we can always clock that turbo just a little bit up and get it that clearance perfect. Uh, but, yeah, we're getting really close to getting this in the spot it needs to be to then tack up some piping and make sure it fits just as good as that one. And, uh, yeah, it's just peeking at you. So we're really getting the look I wanted, though, with uh, these turbos, with the heights and everything and them just being right here. So we're getting it, but uh, it's gonna take a minute. So once I get this all lined up and tacked up, I'll update you guys. All right, so we got this side all tacked up, getting ready to yank this turbo back out and uh, get that thing final welded. We got these as close to even as possible. That was the main concern. Colt said it looked good, so I'm going with him his approval because <laughs> his opinion matters. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> But uh, the, the hot sides itself don't look exactly symmetrical. But like I said, I explained that with the turbo differences. They can't. Uh, if they were mirrored, we could do identical setups on both sides. Like I said, we can't do that on this setup. So we did as best we can. Made it look the same. And Colt brought up a good point. I don't think anyone's going to really be judging it for stuff like that. 
uh, just when you walk up, you're just going to be surprised it has twins. So we're going to go with that. And I doubt the speed engineering kits and everything are perfect anyways, which is what everyone else runs. You struggling with that one bolt? Yeah, it's a little pinch. <laughs> back today on the Denali build. And as you can see, both turbos are mounted. I don't know where I left off the other day. Um, but today we're gonna be working on the wastegate. So once the wastegates are done, we're completely done with the hot side and uh, we can pretty much get it out of the truck and ready for getting Cerakoted. Because like I said, I think I said in the previous part of this video, um, we're gonna be Cerakoting and we're gonna be wrapping these headers and all of the hot side just in general. There's too many wires. I'm not risking that. Uh, we're gonna make this as cool as possible in the engine bay without having all of that heat. I mean, these things are going to glow red. They're so short, there's gonna be a lot of heat in them. We're not having that. So the uh, back sides are gonna go get Cerakoted. The whole exhaust is getting Cerakoted headers and everything. And then we're gonna wrap as much of it as we can in heat wrap as well. But I'm gonna show you my ideas for these wastegates. Um, we don't have a whole lot of room, but I think we got the perfect amount of room. Oh, my idea for these wastegates. Uh, mainly because you want to do a wastegate off of a 90 degree bend and luckily we have three of those so we can really pick where we want to go and with the wastegate shape actually hold on I'm gonna go grab the wastegate real quick all right so we got our turbo smart wastegate that we're gonna be installing in this thing but my idea is to make it come off of the pipe mm, somewhere like this and uh, ride it literally straight straight up so it's gonna come off that 90 here and just go straight up out the hood with the other exhaust. Um, and we're gonna have four points um, where this exhaust is gonna go. Super simple, super easy, and not a lot of work. And that's kind of the, the, the point here. We're not trying to make more work for ourselves if we don't have to. With doing this myself, and we're not routing anything to the back, we're not doing anything like that. We're doing a super simple setup. Yes, it's not ideal for everybody. Uh, it really gets rid of the daily driver aspect of the truck, having these out the hood. But with the size of turbos I chose and everything that's going to be done to this truck, four-inch exhaust is what's really needed. Um, and running that out the back is going to be pretty difficult as it is. So everything's just going to go out the hood. We're going to have four exhaust ports technically. So we're going to have two wastegates and two uh, exhaust exits, exits um, coming out the hood of this thing. We're gonna be taking the hood off first because I don't want to drill it right away. And I might take it to a buddy over at a shop and uh, let him do it because that's what he actually does. A lot of hood cutting for Holly clearances and stuff like that and I trust him. So we'll see if uh, I want to do it or if I'm gonna have someone else cut the hood. I'm pretty down to do whatever, as you can tell. We're doing a lot of this stuff ourselves here, but I don't want to cut the hood. That's just, I'll cut fenders all day. But putting a hole in the right spot, ah, uh, that worries me. But uh, yeah, so I am going to get this pipe made up that we're going to fit up to that one. So that's going to be the difficult part is rounding that perfectly so it sits flush. And then we're going to be able to yank this thing off, get the new wastegates welded on. And then we're done with the hot side. So yeah, we're going to get into this. Let's get these pieces made. All right, so after hours of work, we have finally got this tacked up. We have not fully welded it yet, but this is our wastegate. Uh, we're gonna be going right here, straight up, doing that blind, can't really see. But yeah, this, this took way too long. Um, not only did shaping the pipe take forever, but getting the hole drilled into the pipe for it. And I still got a pretty decent sized gap I gotta fill. So that's gonna get interesting, but uh, we finally got it done. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fully weld this side, get the turbo back mounted so that I can get really good measurements of exactly what I got to duplicate. Since, like I said, this one's not symmetrical, you know, it's not just, oh, do the exact same thing there. Uh, it's do it, make sure it works, then go over here and replicate it as best as we can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this thing fully welded up. 
It's gonna be interesting getting that little bitty V-band tacked up without warping it. Um, so I'm gonna have to go really slow on this. But once I get that done, we're gonna replicate that side and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so after way too much struggling, we finally got the first wastegate pipe welded up. It's been, this is the next day. Like not only was it a pain to get that thing rounded to the right shape to even fit the pipe, but I don't know what happened, but it fought me the whole way trying to weld this thing. So I'm just happy to have this side done. And hopefully the next side goes a little smoother. Like I said, I don't know, something went wrong and we ran out of gas. We had to go get more gas. It was just a, a mess. So we're letting this thing cool off. We're gonna get it put back in the truck, get the wastegate mounted up so that we can get some measurements and figure out exactly where we're gonna put that second one. All right, so I got the wastegate mounted over here finally. Also, this is not gonna stay that length. I have it that so I can cut it down to the right height, but gotta have them as even as possible so that I can get the spacing right. So that the hood is drilled symmetrical for these exhaust pieces. I don't want it to look completely funky coming out the hood in completely different areas on both sides of this truck. So we gotta get this thing straightened out a little bit. Um, we noticed it a little bit after we fully welded it. We didn't notice it initially when we tacked it up. So I'd left it, but after putting it back in, it's not as symmetrical or it's not as, le we had a lot more level earlier. I don't know what happened, but I'm just gonna adjust that flange and then we should be good and we won't have to worry about it anymore. Had to get creative here on uh, lining up these waste gates. Since I'm by myself, I had to use the engine hoist, but I just cut the piece that we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna tack that up and mount it to this and then we're gonna be able to get the location. I've already got it pretty close. Let me get down here. So we're going off that 90 there and boom. So like I said, we're already super close. I'm gonna get that flange tacked onto this side. Go ahead and bolt it up to that wastegate. And then we're gonna be able to mark exactly where we're gonna be putting it on that pipe so that we can yank it out of the truck and uh, get it over to the bench. All right, so we got this thing tacked up, test fitting it. It's pretty symmetrical. I think it's off by like a quarter of an inch, which that's fine. We can get the quarter of an inch with uh, just playing with everything. Whenever it's final, final assembly, we're gonna be able to really dial in the alignment. Uh, Cause there is a little bit of play here and there with how this stuff is mounted. Not a lot, not a lot, but there is a little bit with just going up this way, down that way, and it will shift all of those angles. So gonna get that welded up. And then we, I would say we're done, but we're not. We have to put the bungs in. So once we get that welded up, we need to grab the O2s out from underneath the truck find out where we're gonna put the bung for that, uh, and then make sure that the wires are not gonna be anywhere in an area that's a problem. So yeah, we gotta get these welded up, get those bungs, and get those welded on to we'll probably do it under the turbo here, like around this area. Uh, Cause I asked the guy that tunes this thing where I should put the O2s. He said you can put it uh, pre-turbo. So that's where we're gonna put it. The uh, wide band is gonna be on the down pipe, which on this truck is gonna be an up pipe. So let's get into this. finish the hot side finally no these are not going to stay this long i'm going to go over what that is but we've got the waste case mounted we got the o2 bungs all plumbed in so the hot side's done the exhaust is technically done now i haven't welded on the actual piece that's going to go up out of the hood and i am going to trim these down this was just for mock-up making sure i got these in the same place as i have both the waste gates going out the hood as well as the exhaust so I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys what it came out like and all of that. By no means am I a welder. I mean, I'm not that bad, but you know, did this all myself. So you can only ask for so much for someone that's never even done this before. Uh, both waste gates are routed on the sides of the turbos, evenly spaced on the hood as best as I could get it to be as symmetrical as possible. And I think we did that. We got it pretty freaking symmetrical. Uh, we still got to do some tweaking to get these like perfectly level um, with just slight adjustments. I just threw this back in so it was back together. 
on the final time that we put this thing together, we're really gonna sit there and adjust everything till it's as close to perfect as possible. During mock-up, I really don't care. So the exhaust might not line up now. These aren't even cut to the length, obviously, because they're not cut to the right length. These are only gonna stick up out of the hood. Like, I really wanna do as little as possible. I wanna do like an inch, but we'll get to that. I don't know, because I don't wanna burn the paint off any more than it's going to. But we have finally finished the hot side on this truck. So the turbos are mounted. And in the next video, we're most likely gonna be rearranging all the wires because we're still waiting on our Holly lid to be able to build the cold side of the kit. So in the next video, we're gonna wrap all the wires and reroute all the wiring that's in the engine bay so that it does not hit these headers, even though these are gonna be going and getting ceramic coated and we're gonna heat wrap them. I just don't want to burn these wires. I got black aluminum tape in, so that's really gonna help insulate those wires and help prevent burning any of them up because they're all gonna be really close to this exhaust. But we're gonna do our absolute best on keeping it away, keeping it as cool as we can, and I think it'll work good. So if you wanna see that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification button so you can get notifications when I post it and all that. But thank you guys for watching this one. Definitely, like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below any comments you have about this build, any questions you have, I try to answer everybody. Uh, and. I'll see you guys in the next one.